to your boy Jay here, Motor City Car Reviews. Today I got something special for y'all. 2014 Audi R8 V10. Look at the V8. We on the V10, 550 horsepower. I'm gonna get to that in a minute, but I want y'all to look at this joint. It was a 2008, this is 2014. I'm gonna show you the upgrades on it. I actually couldn't do a good review on the last one. I don't personally think because my man's came to test drive while I was trying to do the review, but I don't care, we're gonna make this better. But man, look at the front. So for the most part, they didn't change that much on the 2014. But just look at the front. We got the blacked out grill. The lights obviously are much better than the 2014. The LEDs, bro. You got the sensors. I like how they did the offset with the gray and the black. Now gray is one of my favorite colors. Um, that's why I got my S6 that color. Same type of gray. Um, and I like how they did a few things with the uh, the sides where the sensors are. You can't really see them. Like, if you look in here, like, sensor here, here, there. You know what I'm saying? So, I like that part of it. Um, go to the side. Now, one thing I don't like about this particular one is these, the wheels, the Daytona gray, like, machine wheels. It doesn't really go with the, you know, that gray but it's still dope uh ceramic brakes you could tell you know what i mean these aren't what are these uh 17s these are these might be 19 let me see i can't see with the tire at. Huh. they 19s yeah that's what i thought they 19s uh turn signals they got this on here this, that's the most important part you know what i mean carbon fiber I love the carbon fiber, man. That's one of my favorite things about all these. I'm gonna go to the back, open this door for a second. We're gonna get to the interior in a second. I didn't get to get to that really last time either. Uh, this engine. So if y'all can see in here, bro, I wish I knew how to open this. Let me see. I'm going here. I don't know where none of this stuff at. Let me see. No, that's not how you open it. I don't know how to open that joint. <laughs> it might be on the keys though. Let me see. I can take turn the car off real quick. Turn this car off. Pop the trunk. We'll go back to the front. Pop this joint real quick. So y'all can see. The trunk space dog. Well, it's kind of dope, bro. I didn't even know they had like a 12 volt outlet right there. Nice little trunk space. Considering it's a mid-engine car. But yeah. Let's head back to the back. We talk about the interior in a second. So I do like how they black this part out though. Like if you see, look at that, This all this is blacked out. I do like the bright lights better than the other one. They got the spoiler up here, the same color as the car. The exhaust blacked out. This little lip right here. That diffuser is not really deep, but this is blacked out too. Uh, yeah, it's a beautiful car, man. Like I remember talking about last one. This uh, the spoiler goes up and comes down. You can leave it up or pull it down. It's a button in there you can press. I'm gonna show you that later. Gas. It's not unlocked, but we'll get to that later. All right, I'm gonna show you the interior now. It's interior. We start from the door panel, bro. One thing I love about Audi is the carbon fiber what they use. So this door, this door handles all carbon fiber. Um, oh, here go the the gas thing right here. I didn't know the gas is right there. So the trunk. So you want to pop the trunk, which is in the front. Um, you got that too. The decorative inlays as far as here. The vents on the side. It's actually used. All right. That actually helps the car. Um, now, I'm not a fan of these seats, bro. To keep one, huh? These are more comfortable seats. 
um not any decoration on it i mean there's no no carbon fiber back i mean you know you can pull this up to access the uh whatever that is let me see what this is I don't know, it's connected to something. I don't know. I don't think it's a cup holder. It might be the cup holder. Let me see. No, a cup holder's right here. I don't know. It connected to something. But uh you can roll that back down. But this is a coupe. It's not the uh it's not the spider, so it doesn't have a drop top. So it has the hard top as you can see here. The last one we looked at was a uh actual drop top. But let's get in this boy real quick. So you got the carbon fiber here. That's dope. I like the paddle shifters on this one better. I mean, this is not carbon. I wish this was like carbon fiber, but that's nice too. Um, then we also have the, one thing about this part is dope though. If, if you start right here, it goes all the way around. So all this right here is all carbon fiber. You know what I mean? And then you have the navigation, um, infotainment system right there. One thing about it, there is, there's no park so when you put this car in gear like once you shift it once you shift the automatic i'm gonna show you all that once you shift the automatic you take the parking brake off and it already might it goes in the first it automatically goes in the first gear so it's no like park so no button you press on park you don't shift it in the park neutral and then you also put the parking brake on so it doesn't move right so that's dope not a lot of not a lot of space but you you can imagine a lot of space though got your cigarette holder there Cigarette lighter, sorry, cigarette holder, I'm tripping. Cigarette lighter, um, hope nobody smokes anymore, but that's right there too. And then uh, glove compartment, you know, pretty dope. So let's turn it on. Let me, let me show you what it sound like real quick. Give y'all a couple ribs, a couple ribs, so y'all can hear this joint. Oh, oh, where the keys at? Oh. <laughs> I mean, I wish this shit wasn't still like this, but. That's another conversation. Let's see what we got. Oh right, shit, I gotta put the parking bag on so we don't drive away. What y'all think? Okay, little rib. This joint only got 94, 65 miles on it. So it's definitely worth whatever ticket they got on it. So whoever had this car didn't drive it at all. It's 2014, so. I'm like, I can hear that. Ooh. All right, we gotta take this boy in the drive. All right, about to get to this drive, y'all ready? Ooh, V10, let's see what this boy do. You wanna take it on the freeway? Yeah, let's take it on the freeway. Motor City Car Review style. I'm gonna take this back road real quick. So far, this test drive going great. Man, bruh. This joint right here, though, I feel all 550 horsepower. All 550, bro. All 550. Ain't got nothing on this. My car ain't got nothing on this. You can tell this is a sports car. It hugged the road, it dropped as in it was going in the turns, man. I didn't put it in sport mode, it's not even sport mode. Here we go, sport mode. Put it in sport mode real quick. 
Yeah. You hear you hear how hard it's shifting sport mode? Which, which joint shift hard as shit? But this joint sweet though. Got the turn signals right here. Back at it, your boy Jay here, Motor City Car Reviews. My boy, Sosa man, come here, Sosa, come here. Got my son over here, chill out, bro. All right, me and my boy Sosa here about to do the Motor City Car Review score. I just drove the Audi R8 2014. That boy was wild. Specs on the car, uh, horsepower between 525, or oh, it's actually like 450 to 550. The weight is between 3,700 to 4,000 pounds. Um, miles per gallon, you're not getting nothing. It's like 13. The torque was 391 pounds of torque. Uh, it was a seven speed automatic. Man, I love that car. I love that car. I would get the spider because I need a drop top. You know what I'm saying? You get the coupe like that. You know, you got to, I think you just got to get a drop top when you get a sports car like that. You know what I'm saying? Um, but number one, the speed overall. Uh, out of one out of ten, I'm giving the speed a good eight. I'm giving it eight only because, like I keep telling y'all, man, dream car, Vendor SVJ. I don't care about Bugattis. I don't care about none of that's my dream car. So I'm giving it eight out of ten. It was fast. You felt all of it. It was quick. So speed and performance, it was it was there, right? So that's getting a good eight. Then we go to the interior of the car. The interior of the car. I still think it needs work. Like, I just want what I guess the newer models will have. We're gonna do one on a newer model too, but the newer models have the diamond stitching like my S6 has. Uh, I just think that it's just a little more, obviously it's more updated because it's newer, but I just feel like they kept that same interior for a long time. And I feel like they didn't have to do that. And those seats, those, 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 that, the seats is what kills me and that terrible screen. 
the little screen in the front that screen is too small for me and the seats just blow me so that gives a good six i'm giving that a six still so it's gonna get about the same as the last the 2008 one because the interior is still trash so that gives a good six i'm gonna go to the exterior of the car that joint is cold except for them uh gray not everyone graded like silver rims they had on that it didn't have the rare calibers but the carbon fiber dope the exterior the lights all that's cold so it gets a couple minuses because of the terrible rims and the calibers black. They didn't, you know, pay for the upgraded calibers cheap, even though you pay $200,000, I don't get that part. Anyway, so that gets a good seven for the uh, exterior of the car. I'm gonna give, I'm gonna change something for just this, today's uh, episode and I'm gonna throw in the fourth one as technology. The technology in that car actually um, is not where I was hoping it would be. Um, it's not the most technology advanced car in 2014. Now, engineering wise though it is, right? So they did, they use things for that car that um, you won't get on other cars, right? It's a, it's a all right, right? So they engineered the shit out of it. It's a great car. So technology wise, a little surprised. It's the same analog Audi system, which is why Audi's so consistent and you know, the quality is there. So I'm giving the technology a good five. And then the overall for the 2014 Audi. All right, I'm giving it a seven and a half. Seven and a half. So not too bad, not too great, just right, right? So I want you guys, don't forget to like, subscribe, put the notifications on, don't skip the ads, tell your friends, tell your family. I don't care, but make sure you're watching the videos I'm going to have some more content for you guys. I got a new job, so it's a lot going on, but I'm going to still make sure I'm throwing in this content, getting you some good cars. Obviously, you see Audi is my car. It's my car brand, but I'm going to throw in some more stuff uh, for the channel as well. So I'm still trying to figure out what car I'm going to get, man. If y'all think I should get a different car, tell me below, comment, because I need some help because I keep test driving these cars. They're similar, but not the same. I'm probably going to have some other stuff on the channel too. So let me know what you think. All right. Peace.